So I wanted to ask you something, Nurse Mary, about the work that you're involved in uh, in Sierra Leone with the training of traditional birth attendants and the clinic that you built in Allentown that you operate. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Um, the clinic um, I'm presently operating is um, uh, uh, we are working with the uh, traditional birth attendants. We formed the association in, in, a, in a way, our, our main objectives is to reduce the maternal and infant mortality in Sierra Leone. So, uh, because of the constraints of uh, medical facility in the, com in the communities, that makes up to get a local clinic, uh, we all come together as uh, as uh, traditional bath attendant and as I am the midwife, we team up together in order in the way to help the pregnant women and babies and the community. So we build a bathing center, just local made, so that uh, and uh, at the same time we have some skill trainings that we undertake so that uh, we'll be able to do our fundraising. Uh, uh, and uh, the low price uh, rates that uh, patients pay in the clinics so that we'll put it together in a way to have, get uh, uh, our materials needed in the clinic, for the clinic. So this is the reason why we want to our objectives like uh, the maternal and infant mortality, you know, and uh, to train traditional birth attendants on their limitation, then uh, uh, to, for them to be self-reliant in order to, they should learn skill trainings so that at the end of the day, they will be able to manage their own uh, 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 domestic uh, 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 problems in their homes. So this is the reason why we try to team up together so that we'll be able to help one another. Mm -hmm. How many traditional birth attendants are you now working with and work to, to oversee and train? Well, uh, uh, not only in the western part of the, uh, the Sierra Leone city, we are now working uh, with the interior, interior, the rural communities. Mm -hmm. uh, so all in number, we have 150 uh, members under my supervision. Mm -hmm. I'm working directly under the, 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 their own membership. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about um, some, of the, some of the efforts you've undertaken undertaken to help raise funds for the Association of Traditional Birth Attendants and the clinic that you operate right now in Allentown? Well, uh, the, the main source of fundraising is that uh, the monthly subscriptions the membership, the, the members pay, and uh, one of the, the, the way we raise our funds, then the, the, with uh, pledges, and uh, uh, the, the materials, uh, we do some skill trainings in the center. We train the traditional bath ascendants on skill trainings. So these are the, the, the materials we sell in order to be able to get our funds so that we'll be able to buy our drugs, uh, med, I, mean, uh, I mean materials needed for the clinic and also will be able to even get additional materials for the skill training. Then uh, we have a, a cultural group that performs. So people invite us uh, on invitation so that we'll be able to charge the people so that and at the end of the day we'll be able to raise the funds out of all these things. So I, I think that's really fantastic. I mean, we, we talked a little bit about the fact that, you know, that for most of our people in Sierra Leone, as it is in, throughout Africa and, and around the world where we exist, 
I mean, we, we have, you know, been forced to experience, you know, poverty and, you know, all kinds of conditions that make it difficult for us to live, yet the brilliance of the people, the ter determination of the people, yeah. the initiative of the people, mm -hmm. you know, uh, allows us mm -hmm. to, you know, to begin to solve problems, even as we don't have, you know, access to our resources that would help us, you know, to do so much more. But just the sheer initiative and desire to be, you know, to solve our own problems mm -hmm. is something that's so evident in the work that you've been a part of uh, initiating with the traditional birth attendants and the women in Sierra Leone. Mm -hmm. I know that, um, you know, Sierra Leone has the highest rate of infant and maternal mortality mm -hmm. and that uh, something like one in eight women die in childbirth. Yeah. Uh, Sierra Leone has one of the highest rates of, of infant mortality mm -hmm. with about one in ten babies dying before the age of one. Yeah. Yet, your clinic and the work that you've been involved in, the deliveries that you've helped uh, to, you know, to make happen, uh, the statistics are quite different. Yeah. Could you say something about uh, the number of babies you've helped to deliver and the kind of success rate that you've had with your work? Yeah, actually, uh, the number of uh, deliveries that I have conducted from the time uh, we started operating in the clinic from the 2008 up to this time, the, the statistics is over, I mean, uh, 300, 300, uh, uh, 300, uh, 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 3,000 children. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, we make sure that because of the poor medical facility, and uh, the, the, and our area, and uh, make sure we actually pay attention to pregnant women. Yes. We conduct deliveries. We have our daily activities in the clinic. We have uh, we do home visits. We examine pregnant women. They attend uh, antenatal clinics. Then we even give immunization, and we examine to exclude abnormalities in pregnancy, so that we will be able to 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 screen the the abnormal cases so in, in in terms of referral. Mm -hmm. So we make sure we refer cases earlier. But since we have started uh, working in our clinic, the the clinic has been in operation we have never had a maternal death Excellent. in our clinic. Yes. We, we make sure uh, we refer early, and even the referrals, uh, to my own experience, we have uh, referred up to five patients and three undergone CS, uh, caesarean section, and the mother, the mothers and the babies are now alive. And uh, the two, we are still back because of they were, they referred, it was the TBAs that referred the cases to me, and I too referred the, the, them to the center. Mm -hmm. So on the way home, I mean, on the way to the clinic, uh, they are, they, they, the baby got distressed mm -hmm. because of the prolonged labor. Mm -hmm. And the, 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 the patient was at home with the traditional birth attendant. And this is the reason why we focus our attention to the traditional birth attendants so that they will know yes. their limitation in pregnancy. Yes. So despite the, the statistics that say one in eight women dies in childbirth, one in ten babies dies before the age of one, yeah. you've helped to deliver over 3,000 babies without yeah. one maternal death yeah. uh, or one infant death. Yeah. Yes, and only five referral cases. Yes. I think those statistics are fantastic. I think it really shows that we have what we need within us yeah. as African people if we have the desire to solve the problem. And it's the people who are suffering Absolutely. who have the desire to solve the problem. Yeah. And so, yeah. you know, I, I think that it just makes it, for me, that much more exciting about yes. what is possible as we move forward with the work to actually consolidate the mm -hmm. infant and maternal health project yeah. that, that APDEP is going to be taking on with your, uh, you know, leadership.